Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sara Siofi, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a new customer record. Now to go to add a customer page, we can go either by going to account receivable on the navigation shortcut group and click customers, or by going to the lists, relationships, customers, and the new. All the fields you see with an asterisk are mandatory. And if you click on the field name, you can see a pop-up screen that have a description for that field. Now we will start by choosing the customer type, either company or individual. Now if we choose a company, we have to enter the company name. And if we choose an individual, we have to enter the customer first name, the last name, the job title, and the company name. Suppose our customer is a company. So we will start by the company name. When we click outside this field, we will notice that the customer ID is updated from the company name. And if we uncheck the auto, we can override the customer ID. Now, if this customer is a sub-customer from another customer, we can link them by using this field and choosing the parent company. Now choose the customer category. Now we will add the customer communication information like email and phone. Choose the customer primary subsidiary. It's important to know that when one transaction is posted for this customer, you cannot change the primary subsidiary selected for that customer. But you can link this customer with more than one subsidiary. For the relationship subtap, you can add a contact for that customer. Enter the contact name and choose the subsidiary. And you have to enter all the other information and then click Add. For the communication subtab, if you have any files related for that customer, you can attach it there. For the address, we can assign a default shipping and a default billing address for that customer. To add a new address, click on Edit. Enter the first location address and all the important information, then click OK. So suppose this is our shipping default address. When you finish, click Add. Now we will add the default billing address by click on Edit, enter the information, Click OK and Add. For the financial information, we have to choose the default receivable account. The primary currency and the payment term. If you have any credit limit, and how the system will handle this credit limit. If you want to, re to read more about the halt options, click on halt and read them. Now we have to enter the DAX registration number and the company registration number. 
In the currency subtab, you can assign another currency for that customer and then click Add. When you finish, click Save. Now to go to the list of the customer that we added before, click on List. You can see the customer dashboard by clicking on the customer dashboard.